Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a floppy diskette on Windows 11. Now, uh, since the short that I made about inserting the floppy diskette into the floppy drive was very, very popular, I decided to make a video on explaining how it works. So, to recap, these are floppy diskettes. This one's made by IBM. This one's made by Fujifilm, but they all work the same. Now, uh, people are making comments saying the floppy disk is bigger and it's more flimsy and all that. Let me explain. You had the floppy B drive and you had the floppy A drive at one point. Uh, when floppy disk first came out, they d there was an 8-inch floppy which was used for servers and stuff like that. You had the 5 and a quarter inch, which is the true floppy disk. Then they came out with these. They're called floppy diskettes, but most people do call them floppy disks. So we're going to show you, I should say, I'm going to show you how it works. So this is a floppy drive. Hold on a second. Let me disconnect it from that. I was testing something out. There we go. All right. So this is a external USB floppy diskette drive, as you can see. Now, when I plug this in, this is going to show up as an A drive. Why is that? This is from when they way back we're talking 80s the three and a half inch which is what this is right here they call that an A drive they just carried that over to, to today's standards for this even though you don't see floppy diskettes used anymore I still use it in fact I have my resume on one so Unfortunately, I have to use a USB extension cord here because um, the USB power strip didn't like it. So I plugged it into there. I'm going to put it on the keyboard here. So I'm going to hold it like this. So here's what's going to happen. I am going to plug it in and you are going to see a light. light up. Now, in this case, that means that Windows 11 recognizes the drive. So if I go here, and I go to my PC, it's going to recognize it. All right, so we're going to go to this PC, my PC's old school way. Right there, you see it says A drive. So I'm not going to use, I'm going to use the red one. I'm not going to use this one because this contains all my professional profile on it. Right, so this is how you insert it, just like that. Oh, this right here, this spins the disk when it's writing. There is a mechanism in the drive that causes that to open. It's almost like that back piece on a VHS tape, even though these came out first. But So you take it, you insert it into the drive. And what I'm going to do is double click this and you're going to see it light up. But I'm having I.O. trouble. So let's go to format. All 
And it's going to tell you, so if there's anything on this disk, it's going to be deleted. Unable to complete the format. Alright, so this is a Fujifilm disk. This is the IBM disk. I do not want to format this. This contains my profile. So, uh oh. All right, so it's an issue with the computer. So what I'm going to do now is take it out of here and plug the drive directly into the computer. There we go. All right, so as you see, it comes back up. So if I click this, all right, as you see, there is nothing on this disk. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put something on this disk. All right, so as you can see, I'm going to create a new folder here. Go to new. And I am not going to put anything on it. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the disk. Right? Now there's something on that disk. So this does work. Now the only bad thing is, as you saw, the reason it had I.O. trouble is I had it plugged in into a USB extension so that way I could hold the drive up to the um, camera. Unfortunately, it's not powerful enough to do that. So the signal is very, very weak to, to this because you're barely going to use it. So, right, so that works. So, open it up. Let's drag another four in there. There we go. So, that works. So, if I go like this and I right click and do properties, you could do properties on a floppy. Used space is two point. Two kilobytes. The free space is 1.38 megs. Yes, you are reading that right. It says megabits. You have to remember at this time that it's 1.44 megabits of space was the best. The best at the time. And now it is nothing. In effect, nobody uses floppy diskettes anymore. But I still use it for my resume. And the reason I still use it for my resume, just in case somebody happens to break into the house, they could steal everything and they won't know what that is for. So my professional life is basically safe. So that's why it's a floppy A drive. So let's see what happens. Shortcut. So, but if I go like this, oops. 
I need additional space because it can't handle it. Anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.